हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मनमेकर आई एम रंजन कुमार कालिंदी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बीएल इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दोज हु गोट सेलेक्टेड आई होप यू ऑलरेडी चेक योर रिजल्ट्स सो दोज हु गोट सेलेक्टेड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर दोज एंड हु गोट कॉल लेटर फॉर दिस बी एल प्रोविजनरी इंजीनियरिंग ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वट आर वट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट डॉक्यूमेंट इज देयर रिक्वायर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट इज देयर एंड सम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन हाउ यू हैव टू परफॉर्म इन इंटरव्यू एवरीथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट we are going to talk about document verification okay the first thing is a document verification whatever they have mentioned in your call letter that uh, document list everything you need to carry in the interview okay original also and xerox also copy of xerox okay and uh, like if you missed any kind of documents then they will not allowed for your interview so be uh, means arrange all the documents okay the first things what first things is sslc ssc isc marks card or marks it means for proof of that uh, date of birth you have to carry your 10th uh, mark certificate okay that you need to carry then final degree if you have a final degree certificate you need to carry that one otherwise you can take your provisional degree certificate also for freshers candidate okay and the proof of norms of cgpa where it is mentioned like cgpa conversion uh, conversion of um, percentage that marks it you need to carry if you belongs from uh, some sc st obc pw pwb ews uh, caste then you need to carry your caste certificate and uh, like for obc category and ews certificate already bl mention one format at the time of advertisement you can go in that advertisement they already given a link for obc category format and ews format so on that format only that obc certificate should be there okay next is uh, post qualification work experience certificate and previous uh, like if you are working anywhere or if you have any work experience that work experience certificate required okay and if you are currently working anywhere then no objection certificate required along with offer of appointment letter okay joining letter required and latest pay slip last month pay slip required so you need to carry that one okay and any photo identity proof is should by a government of india you can carry your aadhar card or pan card then latest two for a passport size photo required and at the time of online application form like when we are applying for this application that online application form required and this admit card required admit card admit card required for cbt for cbt Uh, admit card is there that admit card required and interview call letter these things required original as well as xerox copy of each one so these all certificate these all documents required for before the interview first they will check your documents you need to arrange in this sequence only all the documents in the proper manner okay they will check first your document only if all the document is correct then only allow they uh, then that uh, then only allow you for interview okay so document is mandatory every document okay now come to interview round after document verification they will uh, call you for interview round okay so in interview round in interview panel you may consider you may expect like uh, in interview panel 3 to 4 interviewer will be there they are professor dgm and manager from a different department so like that people will be uh, as a interviewer they will take your interview okay so now you can 80% chance like you can uh, they uh, start your interview with a general question introduce yourself so in this question you have to give your answer in a proper manner with a smile and with a confident introduce yourself like uh, you have to introduce yourself uh, with a confidence give your inter, uh, introduction with a confidence and a smile okay now after that for fresher i am talking right now for fresher 
who not working anywhere who don't have uh, like a uh, work experience and all who are fresher only so for that they will more focus on a final year project whatever final year project you have done from that they may ask more question okay so what is the purpose of your that project what is the goal what is the objective what component you have used in that uh, what project and uh, what kind of challenges you have faced during your project and from that like whatever component you have used from that component they will ask some technical question okay so like that you have to prepare for your project so just go through your project and uh, whatever question is there regarding your project prepare that one okay now they will ask one question like uh, in which subject you are good so from that subject they will ask technical question and they will not go that much deeply but they will ask question and apart from that from other subject also they will ask technical question okay so just prepare like that now if we talk about experienced candidate who are working already or who have uh, who uh, who has service completed for that they will more focus on their work profile and role means what uh, what is your work profile and what is your role there means uh, and designation what kind of work you are doing what devices you have used for in your work and or what software you have used and from that they will ask a technical question and they will ask also like uh, uh, how you are facing your uh, job culture how you are handling your job profile like that question they will ask so everything you have to explain the process of work also like if you are uh, in a production company then how a unit is a uh, one unit is going to manufacture they ask like that only if you are uh, uh, dealing with a pcb or hardware company you are working then they will ask how you are doing rework how you are doing uh, uh, troubleshooting and all you have to explain about your work profile okay so for experienced people they will more focus on their work profile then they will uh, ask a uh, technical question from your branch or subject okay so like this question you can expect in your interview so just prepare like that only and uh, uh, like whatever you have doubt still you just do comment i will reply for that okay and one more thing just go in a formal uh, in a proper manner and uh, you for uh, interview you can use uh, hindi language also or any english language also okay so that's it guys just prepare well and go for your interview all the best for interview thank you